Well, right now I'm uh, clearing off the memory out of my phone, sticking in the hard drive. Same with the GoPro, uh, which I'm filming with right now. Got that cleared off, got a new card in there, so I got like six hours of memory of film left, so hopefully that should last a nice long time. Say hi, honey. Hi. Guess I'm in the right spot. Series 1, this is a 90, some other stuff, awesome. Well, I'm in the car, I'm going to start her up and let her warm up. I'm just going to keep the choke on. Put the gearbox in gauge, warm that up. I'll let that warm up and just take a quick walk around. I'm waiting for Serena to get out. Marshall Ambulance, Series 3. Oh, that's awesome. Quick big old winch. Love it. Are those 616 or are those 750? I don't know. I didn't know the windows go a different way. That's awesome. That is awesome. I'm just doing a quick rock around. There's Bruce's Series 1. Short wheelbase Unimog. Defender. <laughs> I like the parking brake. What key? What? Ah. Thanks, honey. That, that should be helpful. They're on my keychain. I must have pulled it off when I pulled my my car key off. Alright, well, you ready to go, honey? Alright, there you go. It's supposed to turn to rain later, so I could get... Oh, really? Yep, that's why I want to get out there. So if it does rain, we can just go back to the cabin and hole up for the rest of the evening until we go into town. Oh yeah, music in there? Lucky. What does my PGA say? I'll jump on your half tank. I think I trust it. 29, 28. Ooh, this might be a hard one. I made your seat a little higher so it would be more comfortable. Yeah, it's also a little harder to get in now. Alright, so we're going to go down to the cabin and just chuck everything in the thing. And, uh, oh. Go back into town, grab a couple, grab five gallons, and then come back down to the Dickey Road, apparently. So, what's that plastic thing up top, that square plastic thing? I think it's a thing to, uh, I have no idea. Uh, okay. You're not quite up to the top yet. I don't know where we're going. He said follow the trails. There's like a hundred trails. directions. I'm going to go that way. Yeah, okay, fine. Go that way. making our own tire tracks, so I have no idea. I saw tire tracks go where those uh, 
power back lines. over there by the power lines? Yeah. See? Let's try that. See? Do you have an afford real drive? No. Oh. Maybe you shouldn't be driving by yourself. What if you get stuck? Well, those aren't tire tracks. What do you mean they're not tire tracks? Well, those are tire tracks. Is that a glass building up there? Go back and ask again. Yeah. This is a good gear for off road though, and it's low. That's a bush. Oh, oh, oh crap. Hello, Bushy. <laughs>
looks like a Land Rover got hit, uh, hit with by a tree and smushed. Oh. Here, grab the camera. Yeah. It's taking the salt off the bottom. Kind of went off the side of the trail a little bit. Well, frig. Oi, it's deeper over here. Mm -hmm. All right, well. Well, there's a Unimog right behind us. Camera is a little crooked. We need a guy. I think we need help from that guy behind oh. us. Go ask him for help. Here, bring the camera. Or not. Whatever. I got stuck on the way to the Oh! Good thing I got the shovel. Okay. Sure, yeah. Oh, it's on, okay. I what I'm doing. This is my first time. This is my first time out here, so. Oh, I see it passes through. Okay. About like that? Yeah. I just want to jump all your stuff off.
close the door. You should probably lock the back. You want to? Okay. Yeah, it's supposed to be just like a hunting cabin, no heat, whatever. Alright. Alright, what were you guys heading back here for? There's more drove back this way. Oh, okay. Alright, yeah. This is my first time up here. Never, never actually been off road before, but. All right, thank you. Uh, thank you for pulling us out. I've been there with a shovel. Yeah, I was going to be here with a shovel for a while then. Yeah, I got a picture of the one in Bruce's house. Yeah, we go back up to the main road to the left. And as you come up, up like a hill, and you'll see just a house with a bunch of open space behind you. Know? That's the All right. Yeah. So it's two. I get two roads up on the left, the second road. All right. Sounds good. That's a little bit packed down. All fluff, yeah. This is all still fresh. Yeah, I I, was, I couldn't see out the windscreen too well, and and I thought I was still on the trail. It was going well, and then all of a sudden, woohoo! Nope. <laughs> all right. Thank you. I'm going to try to keep going then. Looks like he got sucked in the same thing. Ugh. I'm thinking this is the cabin. It's the it's the next one after the class building on the right. Yeah. There you go. Good company too. Ah. <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you. Have a good one. Portal axles. I'm getting hit with wet stuff. Hey, Did you see the, the land that got hit by the tree? Tree? By the tree? Here. I'm liking this 109. Here, keep it. Keep I, need, I need a 109 yeah, in my life. Keep the camera on and come with me. Yeah, this is not too bad over here. Yeah, you should really put your pants on because. It looks like it's just got a small branch on top. Oh man, I love this stuff. Oh! Oh, poor thing. Series one. Oh. I think I saw that on Instagram. I don't know. Oh, poor thing. Poor little Series one. I like the station wagon there. So we'll have to, uh, I'm thinking. Let's go to the cabin. I want to see what it looks like. Card hooks good until it hits deep stuff. Then it just uh, plows the, I think it just plowed the diffs in the ground. Let's figure out how to get in the cabin. Is that a locking hub? Or wheel nut? Uh, sure looks like it, something. Or is that for a winch? That might be for a winch. Oh man, I need a 109. You can definitely tell this has been here all winter. I need a 109 yeah. like I need a 109 like this in my life. This is ex-military. Got a winch too. You want to turn off your car? Yeah. I'll do it. Well. I don't know. Well, that's the door. Well, that's the cabin. Move. Yeah. 
That's cute. I'm okay with this. Are you okay with this? Yeah. I mean, we can always just sleep on the floor in there. Yeah. Oh, look at the old radios. It's not too far from the main thing. Broken window. Former beverage. Let's see if it works. Nope, nothing. Frozen. This will do for me. All right, well, let me try it back in. And then we'll just chuck the stuff in there and go. Okay, here, let me get the key. Well, it's got a bolt from the inside. Yeah, this isn't too deep around here. Well, it looks like uh, we're stuck again. I guess the snow is just way too deep for him. He doesn't have any snow tires, as you can see. Well, it's kind of art. No, I don't think these are snow tires at all. He doesn't have snow chains, that's what I'm trying to say. No snow chains, so it's not helping him at all. And we have a place to go, and we might be a little bit late. Well, what's the situation? You stuck? Let's just move everything in and hope it lightens it up. I don't think moving everything from the trunk is going to lighten it up that much. But we can try. Not that far. I think uh, Ryan said it's a mog coming. One of those cars. Oh yeah, he is coming back. Oh cool. Alright, well. good when you're in the trail, but it's not good when you're not in the trail. Oi. Nice Range Rover Classic uh, yanked this out. Oh, God, I wish I had tire chains. All right, well, I'm gonna shovel and see what I can do. See, that ambulance looking one? Yeah. Totally people sleeping that one. This one looks short. Oh yeah, yeah, if I had a 109, like the one that we were stuck across from, we'd have plenty of room. And this you get to close it all the way, like, this yeah, we won't have to deal with the tent. You have to like, you know, open this, open that, you know, you know. I'm so cold. I can't even speak right. Speak right. My yeah. Cold. Well, it's getting wet, so we're gonna head off. We're gonna head off to the hotel, right, honey? Yeah. All right. Are you enjoying the trip so far? Yeah. See, I got it on film this time. Do you like my car? Yeah. Okay, good. Well, let's get back to the hotel. Ooh, letting water in the car. Ugh. 
Just a wet seat. Taco bar. And pizza. And pizza. And wonderful dessert uh, buffet. Mm. Or, uh, what would you say? <laughs> it's not a picture. I'll be a typical dinner. So Serena pointed out, uh, well, our trip back from the, uh, well, apparently water's getting through there and tracking tracking down on the inside from the nut all right anyways uh yeah so we're back at the cabin foggy this evening drove uh driving back from the whatchamacallit you know we probably could make that with this being so wet do you want to try no no okay. no 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 because no. uh this car i mean it's gotten a lot warmer it rained and the snow is, well, really wet and packy. And this thing just grips and goes uh, right now. And had zero, absolutely zero problems crossing this field. It was fun going through some whoops, getting some articulation. Um, the whole car was bouncing. And it went smoothly, too. It wasn't rough or anything. I love this suspension in here. Uh, it works really well. Doesn't soak up really sharp shocks, but whoops and doodahs, yeah, it goes right through them. Picked up gas while we were in town, but everything was so foggy, I, I really didn't have the extra brain power to uh, try and do it. What? Yeah, we got that uh, donated to the fund, and they had these for uh, people that donated, and got a t-shirt too. I was hoping to get one myself, but uh, they only had Serena's size. So she's got one. I really like the color. Matches my uh, Land Rover one. Alright, well, our cabin's back there, as you probably saw earlier. We've got a heater for it, and uh, going to truck this heater back there. Those were, whoops, were quite the party. All right, well, I think we'll uh, catch you back up uh, when we get to the cabin. Back up and then go for it. Get it up, get it up, get it up. 